Good day, thanks for joining me. I'm Carla from Cathedral Art School. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video to showcase all the items in our alcohol ink kit number two. Um, so if you've purchased uh, a local kit from us, we are gonna go through all the parts and pieces today and show you some of the things that you can do with it. If you did not purchase a kit, but you're able to get your hands on some alcohol ink supplies, um, you can definitely join along um, and have some fun with us. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so today I'm going to be going through the alcohol ink kit number two um, that we've offered through the studio for local delivery. So if you've purchased one of these kits, um, what you will find inside is a bottle of the alcohol blending solution. You received three ink colors. You would have received mushroom, the cranberry, which is beautiful, and one of the brand new colors, which is moss. And I haven't actually used this one until today, so I'm really excited to give it a try. You also would have received um, the alcohol ink tool set, and inside your set, you would have three small brushes and a mister. So I'm going to show you how you can use um, these tools with your inks to have some fun. Um, in your kit, you would have also received some of these um, four by six art cards. Um, so these are a photo paper, high gloss photo paper. Um, we are going to be working on the back side of these today. So the shiny side goes down. Um, you also received a six by six ceramic tile um, and you can work on the tile just the same as you would work on the paper. So everything that I'm doing here will uh, transfer over to the tiles as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna do um, just a little bit of a flower sort of shape so you guys can sort of see um, how to use some of the tools. So I'm gonna start with just a couple drops of blending solution. Um, and I'm going to start with the uh, mushroom. It's going to be my first color. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops. So this is a really interesting color. It's sort of a, you know, grayish, brownish, greenish color, which is kind of fun. So you'll get all kinds of little tones and things. Um, if you have your straw handy, uh, you can use a straw to help move some of the ink around. And I don't want to move this too much. I want to keep it kind of compact in the center there. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Might add just a smidge more color. I want to darken it up a little bit. There we go. Perfect, and you can see the different tones coming out. You can see a little bit of that greenish color, a little bit of the browns coming through. It's really, really pretty one. There, so let that dry a little bit. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the little mini mister. This is a great little tool for uh, working with your alcohol inks. What you do is you take a little bit of your blending solution, your alcohol blending solution, and fill up your mister, okay? Make sure you're pointing the actual spray end in the right direction so you don't get it in the face. Um, and this just creates a really fine mist of blending solution. And so when you spritz it on, You can see how it creates those really pretty um, light speckles. And then you can see some of the other tones coming out. We're starting to get a little bit of blue in there. It's really beautiful. Okay. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of my cranberry and I'm not going to use any blending solution this time. I'm just gonna put a few drops around the edges. And I'm gonna take my paintbrush I'm just going to pull some of that ink outward. Okay. 
And as I'm pulling that ink outward, I'm kind of creating like a long sort of petal shape with it. great. <laughs> so as long as it's still wet, I can go in and really move it around. So now I'm just kind of redefining some of these, some of these petals. that one off to the side. Oop. Now I'm all covered in ink. All right, so now we're going to play around with some of that, that moss color here. Okay, so I'm just going to spritz on some of the blending solution. And we'll start with a little bit of moss. It is a beautiful color. I'm going to use my straw and just move it around a little bit. It's really pretty. You can see some blue tones, different green tones. It's really nice ink. I'm going to add in a little bit of the mushroom just around the edges. Lots of blue in there. I didn't put any blue in, but we're getting a lot of blue tones in there, which is really nice. So now that I've got a fair amount of color on there, I'm going to take my mister, just add a nice little spritz. There we go. Just to add a little bit of a speckly effect. So if you have toolkit number two, those are a couple different things that you can do with your kit. So I hope you guys have fun playing. Um, if you take any photos of your work, I would love to see them. Um, please tag the studio, Cathedral Art School, um, if you share them to Facebook or Instagram. And have fun and enjoy your kits.